In this video, we're going to show you how to delete LastPass. And we're going to show you the steps of exporting your passwords, importing them into a new password manager, such as 1Password or Dashlane, cancelling your subscription, deleting all your data permanently, and then finally how to delete your account. For more information and for a written step-by-step -step guide, please check out everybithelps.io. First up, a little bit about why we're discussing this. Well, in the last two years, LastPass has experienced some issues that have left users wondering if it's still safe to use. Back in 2022, and again in 2023, LastPass had some serious security problems. Hackers broke into their system, stealing information and creating a lot of worry. Although LastPass assures us that they have everything under control, it is natural to feel concerned. So if you are feeling uneasy and thinking about moving away from LastPass, we're going to show you all the steps to safely delete your LastPass account. Plus, we're also going to talk about some other options that you might want to consider for managing your passwords. First off, before you go ahead and start deleting your account, you're going to want to make sure that you don't lose your passwords. And these are stored in LastPass in something called a vault which you're going to need to do by heading across to lastpass.com on your computer. Unfortunately, you can't do this on your phone. Then log in with your master password. As you can see, I've set up a demo account here with some fake accounts and passwords, credit cards and secure notes, which I'm first going to export. So if we head across to the bar on the left and choose advanced options and then export. From here, you'll see that LastPass is going to send me an email to confirm that it's really me. I can then confirm that, and it gives me a confirmation. Now, annoyingly, it doesn't take me back to the export screen, so I'm going to need to follow the same steps of going to Advanced Options, and then to Export. And it's then going to prompt me for my master password. The passwords will then export to a CSV file, and when we open that up, as you can see from the file now, we can see all of the URLs, the usernames and passwords that have been exported from LastPass into here. If you're then looking to import these into a new password manager, you may need to encrypt the file first if you're keeping it on your computer before you go ahead and export these, as obviously this does hold all of the passwords to your accounts and it's really sensitive information. And there's a few different ways that you can import into password managers. I'm going to show you the process of using this CSV file now. First with Dashlane, and then I'm going to show you in one password. With Dashlane, from the main screen, head across to My Account in the top right, then Import Data, and it will take you through some prompts, where you can choose the source, which is obviously going to be LastPass. And from here, you can import it directly from LastPass, which may save you encrypting those files, or you can import the CSV file that we've just exported, which is the process I'm going to take now. Then I need to choose the CSV file that I've just downloaded, and then Next. And in here, you can see any data that you're importing. And if there's any data that they can't read or support, that will be shown under the Others section. When you're happy, you can import items. It'll let you know once that's successful. So if I go to Logins now, I'm going to see Google, Kraken, and ProtonMail logons and my secure notes have imported, and payments. So that was pretty easy with Dashlane. Now I'm going to show you the process for 1Password, but the process is very similar as you'll see. So we'll head across to our profile name in the top right, and then import. Then we search for LastPass. And there are easier ways to import as they state here, which again is directly from LastPass. For this, you're going to need to download the One Password app to continue that process. And then you'll need to follow the prompts. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to import that CSV file again, as we've already downloaded that. So we'll continue, choose which vault we're going to be putting this into, and then upload our CSV file. And once that's finished, you can then view your imported items, which are now showing here. And once you've finished importing, it's really important that you permanently remove that file from your computer. 
but just make sure that you can definitely log into your new password manager first and that everything is imported correctly before you do so. The next step is ensuring that you've cancelled your LastPass subscription. So if you're currently paying for a paid or a premium plan, make sure that's cancelled first. The way you do this is by going across to your account settings on the left hand side of the screen. Scroll down to my account and click onto that. And if you've got any credit card details in here, you'll be able to cancel the card. Or if it's via Apple subscriptions or something similar on your mobile phone, you might need to check through your subscriptions on your phone. Next, if we head across to the account settings, again on the left hand side of your screen, show the advanced settings and scroll to the bottom. From here now, we want to choose to destroy sessions. Then kill all but the current session. Next, we want to head across to Trusted Devices, and we want to remove any that are currently connected, as well as mobile devices, by choosing the tab at the top of the screen. The next step is deleting all of your accounts from the vault. By doing this, you'll remove all your data from LastPass so that it can't be compromised in the future. Now, the annoying part of this is that you will need to select all of these individually, which may take a while, especially if you do have a lot of passwords stored in here. But this way, you're going to be ensuring that you're not leaving anything behind when you close your accounts. So we're going to choose Actions from the top of the screen and choose Delete. We can then confirm the action by choosing Yes but that doesn't permanently delete the items. So to do this, you're going to need to head across to the advanced options, then view deleted items, where you can see that there's an option to permanently delete all. Just again, make sure that you've obviously backed these all up and exported them first. At this point, we can now remove the LastPass extension from any browsers where you've installed it. I'm in Brave at the moment, so if I right click onto the icon, you'll see here there's an option to remove from Brave. And I'll confirm that by choosing to remove. So now that your LastPass account is empty, so to speak, and we don't have any open sessions, active subscriptions, trusted devices, or linked mobile apps, we can go ahead and delete our account. Now finding this isn't so easy. So if we head across to the support center, and then search for delete account. There isn't much here until you scroll down and there's an option of how do I delete my LastPass account. Now within this article, it does tell me the steps that I need to take before I go ahead, but it doesn't actually tell me how to delete it. Luckily, I did find this on a Google search instead and we have to use a page that's lastpass.com slash delete underscore account, which I'm going to link in the description below. From here, you can either reset your account or you can delete it. As it states, this is irreversible and it includes sites, notes, forms, etc. And you don't have to be logged in at this point. When you choose the red delete button, it'll ask if you remember your master password as there is another process for this. We do, so we're going to choose yes. We then have a warning that we're going to be deleting our account to export our LastPass data, which we've done. Then we need to enter in our master password. And this confirms the account that you're deleting, just in case you actually have more than one. Then you can check the box of the reason that you're deleting your account. Then when you're certain, you can choose delete and confirm. And again, just making sure that you really want to. And your LastPass account has now been deleted. So now that you've deleted your LastPass account, how do you manage your passwords? Well, there are other tools that you can use, including those that we've mentioned today, being 1Password and Dashlane. But there's also ProtonPass, Bitwarden, Keeper and NordPass. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to our website at everybithelps.io for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.